Hi, I'm Mark Muzinski. I'm 29 years old and I'm going blind. I was born with a genetic mutation to my ABCA4 gene, which caused cone rod dystrophy, um, which is a form of macular degeneration. We didn't know initially. We found out when I was in kindergarten and they make you do the vision test where you have to say if the red dot is inside or outside of the box. And I, I didn't know that there was a box even. They eventually brought me to Dr. Fishman, who's one of the leading ophthalmologists, and he was able to diagnose cone rod dystrophy. So what I see is um, the central vision is a, sort of a blurred mishmash of colors that is indistinguishable. And then around that, the rest of it's pretty bad too. Uh, and each individual eye, they both have a different depth of vision. So one is 2400 and the other is 2800. So if you can imagine, like having one eye in a magnifying glass and one eye not in a magnifying glass and trying to walk around like that. Um, they're constantly fighting for focus. A part of the issue with my eyes is that they're extra light sensitive. So if you can imagine going outside and everything is super bright, not being able to see well, it affects so many other parts of your life that you don't even think about. Uh, assume you're standing at a crosswalk and depending on the lighting and if there's trees blocking stuff, you can't see what color the different street lights are. And if there's no cars, you're just looking at the person next to you and thinking, is this person going to risk their life to cross the street? Do they have a death wish? Uh, I think my natural enemy is the fire hydrant, especially here in Los Angeles where they make them yellow for some stupid reason. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the lotion and the conditioner at a hotel. The most common thing I get nowadays is, are people asking me if I'm smelling my phone. So I've got the text size as large as it can go. So for me to read it, I have to do something like this. I've learned to like look at people when I'm talking to them, but the tough part is then I can't see their face. So I don't know if they're happy at what I'm saying, if they're really upset at what I'm saying. I have to guess based on their intonation, or I have to find some excuse to like, look at a poster over there so that I can get them into my periphery and get a better sense of what's going on. I think it's also given me a weird perspective, you know, I know there's lots of things I can't do, so I can just let them go. There's lots of things in everyone's life that are negative or that prevent them from doing something they might want to do. And some of those things you can fix with hard work and, and by ha having other people help you and some of those things you can't. In the end, you know, I don't know, I wouldn't have the friends that I have. I wouldn't have the same relationship with my family. I guess I'd rather have me the way that I am than have great eyesight and the chance of not having all of these things I have right now that I love.